Good morning, and welcome to This is Another Day. Today's scripture reading comes from Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. In my freshman year at college, I decided to join the rowing team. I learned so many valuable lessons from crew, teamwork, discipline, accuracy. I learned that angling your hands on the oars slightly too high or too low could throw off the entire boat's balance and cause it to lose rhythm. I came to see crew as the ultimate team sport, where being in sync with my teammates was essential to making the boat move smoothly, efficiently, and skillfully. We can translate some of this same understanding into our language of faith. We can strengthen, support, and encourage each other by offering compassion, forgiveness, and empathy, bringing out the best in one another, and recognizing our shared dignity and divine worth. Now, rowing was never an easy endeavor, but the trust that my teammates and I had in one another made winning a race even sweeter and sustained us when we lost. Activist, poet, and playwright Cherie El Moraga writes, the real power, as you and I well know, is collective. I can't afford to be afraid of you, nor you of me. If it takes head-on collisions, let's do it. This polite timidity is killing us. Yes, we absolutely need one another. This is another day to empower others and ourselves as we work together to nurture and implement change for the common good. Putting others before ourselves through our talk and actions, helping those around us or within our care, and not looking for any type of favor to be returned or for recognition, this helps us to mutually sharpen our character into Christ's likeness. So, Lord, we pray today that our shared spiritual sharpening will align us closer to your word so that we are continually reminded that the important work we have left to do must be done in community. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.